and welcome. Today we are going to see the latest boat launched by Moon Yachts. This is going to be a Moon 60. Welcome aboard. First of all, we are approaching huge cockpit. This is an excellent space prepared uh, for a number of guests to spend a very comfortable time uh, with a very large dining table with a set of chairs. Huge comfortable sofa that can be used uh, well either as a sofa during the dinner but you can also flip backrest and face, uh, sit, uh, you can sit uh, facing backwards uh, while on the anchor. Uh, all the decks are covered with uh, natural teak. Uh, there is a number of little electronic gadgets over here. All lights are on dimmers, we have LED lights everywhere. So that's amazing, very luxury and cozy dinner area. That connects with absolutely lovely and spacious interior. So from cockpit, wide and spacious side decks takes us all the way to the front of the boat. Um, it is really worth to mention that the side decks are very comfortable and wide, protected from both sides, so it's very easy to walk around during bad weather. To, to walk around during bad weather, um, freeboard has been also raised, uh, providing security, very nice design, and um, a very good um, look of the boat. And in the front we have amazing forward, uh, forward deck with a forward cockpit with a sitting area for six to eight people, sunbathing, lounging, mattresses and a lot of empty space uh, that can be used uh, either for a, as a party, uh, party place, a dance floor or can be also covered with additional uh, sunbathing chairs or loungers. Below this area we have a lot of storage huge lockers uh, that can be used uh, to store all sorts of fenders and, uh, and all the gear. Additionally, we have also access to the crew cabin, which is located in the front in the little forepeak over here. This forward space is an absolutely amazing area to hang around and spend time during sunny days, especially on the anchor, with a lot of fresh breeze coming from the front. However, the best part of the boat is just up above. Let's go! So the best part of the boat, the place where you want to hang around during, well, all the day, is up on the flybridge. Uh, you can access the flybridge from both sides. Uh, let's go, let's have a look on it. So here we are on the flybridge, the very best part of the boat and my favorite place uh, on entire moon. This is the place where we want to hang around all day long. We have great views all around us, uh, fantastic breeze. Uh, we're also shaded uh, from the sun, thanks to this very, very big um, uh, hard stop. Uh, we have a place to dine, we have a place to relax, we have a place to enjoy time with friends. Uh, there is also a lot of sunbathing and lunging area in the back of the boat. Uh, obviously we have a wet bar with a sink, ice maker um, uh, and uh, all things needed to serve a couple of nice cocktails in the evening. And obviously all of the boat controls. Uh, there is a huge navigation station that features absolutely all kinds of controls uh, needed to run this boat, as well as, as all of the lines are led to this place, allowing one person to manage the boat uh, while sailing. Flybridge Bar features all kind of uh, necessary equipment uh, to spend time over here without the need of going down to the galley. So, we have uh, ice maker, fridge for drinks, additional storage, a very smart trash bin and obviously a small sink. It is also possible to add a barbecue uh, in the middle, however it's not installed on this boat. Hand station located on the starboard side of the flybridge features absolutely all instruments needed to run this boat. Uh, the boat was originally designed to be run by a short crew, so skipper being over here can control practically all functions of the boat, starting from the engines, which are very far to the starboard side, giving a skipper availability and option to see precisely starboard side of the boat, from the bow to the stern. Uh, we have a very powerful ball thruster control over here and all typical navigation instruments. Uh, what makes the boat a little bit more special, skipper being over here can control also all sorts of electric equipment that we have on board, starting from lights, 
but also refrigerators, freezers, uh, tanks, uh, and absolutely any other uh, electric device. Uh, everything is controllable directly from the screen of the child plotter. Skipper is uh, usually a very busy person on board, so Shipyard thought it sh he should have a comfortable space over here. So we have a very nicely designed skipper seat uh, with a bolster, so there is a very comfortable stand-up position, which is very comfortable during maneuvering, but uh, on longer passages you can just open this seat up and sit comfortably with, I guess, one or two more people. Flybridge features a very comfortable sitting area, capable of hoisting a lot of people, so big parties can be organized over here. We have uh, cup holders uh, located in different locations, sun loungers in the back, uh, cushions that can be flipped from one side to another, and a lot of gadgets like two powerful subwoofers, a set of speakers, offering absolutely a perfect party playground. Entire cockpit is shaded with huge, solid, uh, composite hardtop. You can walk on the top of it, but uh, apart from offering shades, in fact, all around the, the Flybridge era, it also features a big glass era made of dimmed glass, offering a good view on the sail and uh, allowing to enjoy stars during evening. The saloon has been carefully designed to optimize the space and functions uh, of this area. We have a very big open galley with all sorts of appliances, ho full home style appliances we'll show you later on. Uh, amazing, very comfortable and large Italian sofa. Um, floors are made of natural, natural wood, natural oak wood, so are elements on the, wood wall, uh, on, on the walls. Uh, panoramic windows made of glass and navigation station on the starboard side, small bar on the port side. So there is a full-size side-by-side refrigerator, as well as freezer, a lot of storage area, very comfortable and useful uh, basin sink, special dedicated place for trash bin, induction stove for burners, we have additional uh, plugs for uh, 220, uh, 220 uh, tools that could be installed over here. Uh, very comfortable and useful cargo, perfect for all kinds of provisioning. And a kitchen exhaust. There is a regular oven, electric oven with a microwave function over here. A lot of storage available everywhere around. Full size uh, home style dishwasher and drawers prepared to hoist all kinds of uh, kitchen tools and provisioning. So on this boat, uh, space has been utilized to offer as much and as big storage area as possible. So none of the place is wasted. We have a very large and comfortable drawer over here. Additional locker in this area, which is very deep. As well as fast chargers, USB chargers and um, induction chargers for mobiles located not only over here, but also all around the boat. There's also a coffee bar over here uh, with uh, ice maker, additional storage and a wine cooler on the other side. This boat has a five cabin layout. That means we have a master's cabin and a VAP cabin on the starboard side. And I think it's time for us to check them out. So here we are in the biggest cabin on this boat. This is a master cabin that features a regular queen size bed. 
uh, with a very nice, comfortable and soft backrest. Um, there is a comfortable storage on both sides of the bed, so with uh, fast chargers, induction charger, USB charger and, um, and 220 sockets. Uh, light controls are also on both sides. Just by the entrance to the cabin we have a controls of air conditioning, ventilation and heating system. And what makes the place special is a fantastic view that we have just in front of the bed. So there is a very big wardrobe, almost a walk-in closet uh, with uh, hanging lockers and uh, shelves below with a special place for, for shoes and, and uh, longer dresses. Comfortable uh, storage area with charges on the sides. And we have access to a comfortable bathroom with a uh, regular nice basin, a uh, double shower, shower big enough to host two people and electric toilet. This is a VAP cabin, another cabin for two guests with a regular queen size bed. As in the other cabins we have controls for lights on both sides of the beds as well as uh, fast chargers, induction chargers and USB chargers on both sides. Uh, there's obviously air conditioning, heating and ventilation in this cabin controlled uh, separately from others. Uh, we have a very nice vanity desk on this side and very nice and spacious wardrobe or well the closet uh, with hanging lockers and shelves. This cabin is others has a private bathroom with comfortable shower, electric toilet, basin and, and a nice storage. Right, so all cabins are equipped with TV screens uh, and of course those lovely panoramic windows can be blinded with sliding 